Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Happy Day of the Dead. Happy All Souls Day. Dia de los Muertos, with its root in pre-Columbian indigenous peoples of modern-day Mexico, is a time to remember, to celebrate, to honor, and to dwell once more with our fieles difuntos, the souls of our dearly departed. This holy day is one in which we bridge the gap between the living and the dead as we rejoice with those who have sat around the tables of our lives. As you can see, the ofrendas created for today are complete with our loved ones' photos, colored textiles and tapestries, calaveras that are the sugar skulls, flowers, and food. As tradition tells, it's the smell of the flowers and the taste of the food that leads our antepasados y seres queridos, our ancestors and our loved ones, back to dwell with us. The celebration of Dia de los Muertos is as varied as the cultures and the context in which it is celebrated. Almost all celebrations, however, include la flor de muertos, the flower of the dead, el simpasuchu, marigolds. Marigolds whose rich aroma and color lead and light the way for the day's journey. Whether it's a home ofrenda, a community project, a graveside meal, or a sleepless, song-filled night, celebrating Dia de los Muertos invites us to let the marigolds lead the way as we welcome in the mystery and the majesty of God's story by dwelling with the saints of our own lives. Today, those marigolds lead us to the gospel, an excerpt towards the end of the gospel of John's tell telling of the healing at the pool, in which Jesus heals a man previously ill for 38 years. This healing occurs on the Sabbath, resulting in a confrontation in which Jesus validates his Sabbath healing by saying this, my father is still working, and I also am working. In saying this, Jesus thus points to the intimate, intricate, and eternal relationship in, within, and between the father and the son. It's in this context, then, that we hear today's gospel. As Jesus says, very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and now is here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. In other words, keep listening. Keep listening because God's creation is not finished. God's story is still happening and we are part of that story. We are a part of that story because Jesus is still working in and around and through us in order that we might share God's saving grace. We are part of the story because of days like today, Dia de los Muertos, a moment and a place so thin precisely because of the thickness of the spirit in the air. As the veil is lifted and we see how deeply and beautifully connected we are to one another, to nuestra gente, our people, near and far, here and gone on. We are part of the story because if we follow the marigolds and if we listen along the way, 
we will encounter those instances in which the divine in us is so tightly linked with the divine in another that there is no breaking away. And we see a glimpse, a holy glimpse of God's kingdom. But here's the thing. With so much noise, it's hard to hear anything sometimes. And there is a lot of noise. Social unrest, humanitarian crises, climate emergency, distrust of and disregard for the other, seemingly insurmountable division, and a pandemic that has forever changed us all. Add a few papers and a midterm here and there, <laughs> and it can all feel like too much. Right? It's too overwhelming. There's too much noise, and we hear so little. Jesus then reminds us in today's gospel that participation as living members in God's promise of salvation is the continued story of the urgent everydayness of the here and now. And Dia de los Muertos calls on those whose earthly everydays cut through the noise to show us how to follow and listen in order that we might see and hear and live. In a moment, we will pray for nuestros seres queridos que nos han adelantado, our loved ones who have gone on ahead of us. And as we say their names, know that with their names, so too comes their spirit, as real as the fragrance of the marigolds, as we are invited to again dwell with them and they with us. For when we call their names, we will also say, Presente, present. And in doing so, may we listen so that we might hear those voices of our childhood, the holy ones of our past, the village that brought us here, the saints and the great cloud of witnesses whose legacy we follow and whose story we have the honor being a part. May we listen as Jesus calls us to do so that we might live and dwell in what is good, holy, and true. Friends, today we are on the front porch with the Holy Spirit, and as my people say, now's a good time to find a rocking chair and sit a spell. <laughs> Today, the marigolds lead me straight to the cornfields and the tomato patches of my grandfather's farm. And they are scattered amongst the red Georgia clay that lies at the very core of who I am. And then they lead to the kitchen table of the one whose ring will forever be on my wife's finger the grandmother for whom our daughter is named, who joined our own communion of saints just yesterday. See, following the marigolds in order that we might hear and live doesn't mean that we avoid pain and heartbreak and brokenness, not that of the world or of our own lives. It doesn't alleviate the sting of death, but rather names it on the way to resurrection. Yes. yes. The hope and promise of today is that if we keep walking, if we keep listening, we will hear God's story still being told. We will see Jesus' work still happening. We will feel the Holy Spirit's connecting thread wrapping and surrounding us all. On this Dia de los Muertos, may we all say, Presente calling on our communion of saints. And in doing so, may we taste the kitchen cookies. <laughs> may we hear the piano being played. May we smell the workshop. May we laugh, or at least smile, at the jokes. 
May we feel the embrace and know that we are loved, cared for, and held as we remember, honor, and celebrate. May we hear. May we live. Let the marigolds lead the way. All the way home. Amen. Amen. Amen.